Uh, Solomon shoes. For this, I might be good. Or Salomon. How you pronounce them? Salomon, right? All purpose wear, right? Salomon. I don't all purpose wear brand. They've come. It's been a bit of a renaissance with Solomon, right? In I say what the last few years, maybe last three, maybe yeah, last few years. Um, it might be as a consequence to the whole, you know, what they call urban ninja, whatever it's called, the kind of like cosmopolitan tech wear sort of thing. You know, the kind of guy that wears like head to toe, you know, Gore-Tex outfit, but they happen to live in Shoreditch and some shit. Maybe it's a consequence of that, but I've seen them featured or seen them worn mostly during fashion week, you know, uh, stylists and editors and buyers and brands. I like to wear, you know, tailored suits and like to jazz up their feet, their footwear choices by wearing something wacky. They'd put on a pair of Solomons, right? Just to kind of change the flip the script a bit. I think maybe my first exposure might have been somebody like a Matthew Williams wearing them, right? The leaks designer, maybe kind of testing out that silhouette, um, taking some cues about what he might apply to his own footwear because, you know, looking at some of the stuff that leaks does, it's pretty similar to the stuff that Solomon do, right? Um, but I've never been a fan of them. I don't really get the hype about Solomon's at all, but I quite like this model. This is a little collaboration that I've seen featured here on the Hypebeats, and it says um, Avenir. Is it called Avenir? Avenir and Solomon reunite for the Mirage Effect sneaker. And I think this is probably my favorite Solomon I've seen so far. I guess maybe it's because of the colorway, maybe because of how it's styled. Um, the guy essentially here on the shoot just has like a, a, track, a really nice tracksuit on instead of you know some sort of Gore-Tex pan and some big jacket with bare, bare pockets on it and a backpack that's got nothing in it but a laptop and an apple this is actually looks good right so you've got the Solomons here in this sort of like beige um, upper color beige color on the upper um, with some dark accents here and there white midsole and of course a really light blue outsole giving it a great bit of pop the only part about the Solomons I'm not a fan of which is the feature of the shoe is the fact that it's sort of essentially laceless it's got this sort of like a zip pull tie sort of functioning thing towards it which maybe helps the fact that you can kind of slip it on and maybe because it's for hiking but i don't really like the fact that there's no laces i'm a big stickler for lace maybe it's my history of growing up on fucking sneaker forums and shit but i, I like laces i want to be able to like you know tie my laces when i'm doing them i don't want to pull on a string and have a little cord hanging on the side or put it inside of my sock that's not my life i want to live but I think the shoes themselves look pretty fucking cool, man. Of course, on girls' feet that are like smaller than a size six, they're gonna look bad anyway. But they look bloody nice. It's got the Anivel logo here on the little strip in the middle. The laces. Where does he actually? Is it hide behind the back of the toe? Maybe it does when you pull them in. But they look really nice. I'm a big fan of these shoes. Um, and there's a couple more pictures here to see. Again, nice uh, blue outsole there nice and bright pop and let's see what the lace is where, is, where does it go when you pull it because it's not a lace you can actually you know do a bunny hoop loop on it or maybe you can I'm, I'm mistaken I think the laces are behind the tongue here so maybe I'm mistaken that regard but I'm sure they had like a little clip similar to what you'd get like in a Jordan 7 that you kind of pull on um, and of course another picture here again with the shoes and I'm assuming the tracksuit is part of the collection as well so if you read the article it says Parisian label and Avenir, Avenir has continued its ongoing Solomon collaboration with two brands releasing a S Lab XT5 Soft Ground. Jesus, what a shitty name. S Lab XT5 Soft Ground. Uh, the Mirage Effect sneaker takes inspiration from the Marathon de Sables, a 160 mile race through the Sahara Desert. It's often described as the toughest foot race in the world. Okay. So, can you wear them during that race or is it just a an image thing see that's what i mean about the pull tab see there you go it's here it does exist they look pretty cool though don't they no i like them man again a bit hype a little bit maybe overdone on the old street on the old street style ig pages and shit but if you don't pay attention to that stuff and you just want a nice shoe me like it it continues here the article says the sneakers color palette is a reference to a tone seen by runners through the desert including elements of sand ivory and stone offset in this color selection of the hits of electric blue and laser fire as a nod to the mirage of water in the desert 
bruv, what kind of sentence is that? I noted the mirage of water in the desert. All right, brothers. It says, um, as expected from Solomon release, the collaboration features a number of technical elements. The sneakers are constructed from a perforated mesh and rips of nylon with bonded graphics. Other features include a quick lace lacing system, a quanta grip chevron outsole, and sensi fit construction. Speaking about the launch, Avenue Chief Creative Director Sebastian Stra Strapasanzo is that Strapaza Strap Pazon Strapazon Strapazon explained that the brand aimed to explore the paradox between freedom and restraint, relax and control, dualities that may find through the <laughs> desolated landscapes of the Sahara where the sense of endless freedom contrasts with the restraining conditions of the desert. Bloody hell man. It's a colorway of a shoe that already exists. Let's relax, guys. Um, it says the Anniver Salomon S Lab XT5 Soft Ground B45 NT1 Mirage release via the Anniver website on June 17th. Like, don't get me wrong, great shoe, but God almighty, they are proper jacking themselves off with that description in it. But I don't blame them. It's a fucking beautiful collaboration. It's very well done. Again, I'm a, I'm a bit of a critic when it comes to just, you know, brands doing different colorways of a shoe. But when they're done well, they're done well, you know, because the, the, there's always, it can always it can be tempting when you've got loads of color swatches on your desk and you've got access to some of the best industrial designers and, you know, in that sort of field and they're sending you samples just to go crazy. But it shows real skill, real restraint if you're able to be like, you know what, I know exactly what I need. And, you know, what, there's like three colorways on this, there's three colors on this or something, maybe four max, right? and different hues are the same and you know to to just do that and leave it as it is takes a, a lot of bravery a lot of courage to do that so congrats to them man fucking banging collab though big fan of it <laughs>